Hello and today we'll be uh, checking out the multi vendor marketplace uh, SMS notification plugin for the WooCommerce platform based marketplace by Webcool. So basically this uh, plugin that's the vendor SMS notification for the WooCommerce provides a gateway for the proper collaboration between the businesses, uh, sellers and the customers. So the admin can send notification messages to notify customers about the order events and these uh, order events include order place, order processing, order on hold, out of stock, low stock, order cancellation, uh, order failed and the refund uh, details and apart from that uh, many other as well. So uh, basically uh, what uh, this does is that this allows the uh, marketplace admin to send the uh, order based uh, notifications directly on the customer mobile number using the Twilio, Twilio system here. So we have integrated the Twilio uh, and we have created this particular plugin uh, that would allow the marketplace vendors to send notifications uh, to their customers uh, very quickly and in a neat fashion uh, as soon as uh, the event is uh, uh, done. At that very moment, the uh, text message is sent out to the customers. And this can uh, be applicable to all of the uh, all of the countries there and the uh, respective customers of those countries. So uh, let's proceed further and let's see how this particular plugin works. So first of all, uh, I'll be logging into the customer account. Uh, we'll be placing some order events. Uh, then we'll be checking out the uh, same within the messages on my mobile device. And uh, lastly, we'll be checking out the uh, initial configurations required for this particular plugin by the admin in the admin backend panel for this particular plugin so before we proceed further please do give it uh, please do give it a thumbs up if you like the video and do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates uh, from our end so now uh, let me take you to the uh, storefront and we'll be logging into the customer account first and kindly note that this particular plugin the uh, marketplace sms notification for the woocommerce is an add-on to the uh, multi-vendor marketplace uh, for WooCommerce by Webpool. So you'll have to have that first and then you can make use of the SMS notification plugin within the same and get the functionality of sending the order updates there to the customers. And this also uh, sends out the uh, SMSs uh, whenever a uh, vendor is uh, doing any update within his uh, account uh, or be the vendor approval, disapproval. So at time, those times as well, uh, the, uh, the uh, respective vendor would be receiving the text messages so now let's hop on to the front end first so i'm at the uh, marketplace to uh, sms notification uh, web store front end right now as you can see so from here we'll be logging into the customer account and uh, then we'll be placing one order for the same so uh, let me uh, enter the uh, customer username and uh, i'll just choose the uh, password and tap here in the login button so now we'll be logged into the customer's account as you can see here. So we have the left uh, account options here. Now uh, let me do one thing, let me place an order. But before that, please also know that, uh, uh, what we say, uh, to customer uh, for the customers to receive the SMS notifications, uh, basically they must have edited uh, the mobile number at, after they've uh, edit, uh, created their account. At that time also the customer receives a uh, SMS notification. So he'll have to go to the addresses and add his uh, a particular telephone number or the mobile number on which he wants to receive the uh, notifications so if it has not been added then uh, the customer won't be able to receive the uh, order related or the other uh, related uh, uh, SMS notifications so uh, now what we'll do is we'll just place one order so this one uh, all right let me go for this uh, uh, pending payment one and it's the order number one uh, two four so uh so what i'll do is i'll just re uh repurchase this particular one uh is the flying ninja for 12 dollars there so uh now uh let me tap here on the all right it doesn't have that one so let me add the product directly from the shop page itself and then let's check the workflow so i'll just add the fly, flying ninja to uh, my cart and now i'll be making a checkout on the checkout page on the left hand side here we need to uh, enter the billing details of the customer and here's the section where you need to enter your customer mobile number on which you'll be receiving the uh, updates so after entering these details and your address 
you'll have to tap here on the uh, place order button and at the same time the customer receives the uh, message uh, or the SMS notification so right now you can see that uh, the order has been received for order number one two six now let me get ahead and let me show you how this particular message would be visible to the customer there so for that let me take you to the admin uh, or sorry let me take you to the mobile uh, end so uh, so uh, I've just logged into my window account there and uh, I've gone to WooCommerce and then orders and now here we have the order number 126 that we just uh, placed at the storefront for uh, using the customer account so uh, right now the status is uh, on hold let's open this particular order and now let's uh, update uh, the order statuses there and then we'll be checking out uh, the same uh, SMS notifications for the respective uh, status that the admin has chosen for this particular order so here you can see that the status right now for the order 126 here is uh, on hold now let's make it processing and then we'll be updating uh, the same by tapping here in the update button and uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be just uh, using the different uh, uh, statuses there and then all in all I'll be showing you the uh, different uh, messages at the same time there for a clearer uh, no, uh, understanding so we have uh, basically uh, set the uh, order in the processing state if we want we can uh, basically choose it to be on hold as well so the first one was uh, when we, we we placed the order the second was was uh, when we uh, set the uh, processing state of the uh, order as uh, uh, processing and then we set it as on hold and uh, now if I choose complete it uh, it would send out the SMS notification for the uh, for the order complete uh, to the customers uh, what we say as the uh, mobile number and uh, it would directly be uh, sent out to the uh, customer there now uh, comes uh, the other options here for example we are choosing the completed I can choose the cancelled as well so I'll choose cancelled and tap here in the update button for this particular order and a message for the order cancellation would then be sent out to the customer and uh, let's tap here in the refunded and if I choose to refund I can uh, update that itself and uh, the uh, refund uh, would be set up for uh, for this particular order and a same and a message of uh, would or the SMS uh, would be sent out to the customer uh, for the order refund there. Now this was the event back and for the order uh, uh, events that are going on. Now let me show you the mobile end for all of these uh, statuses that we have chosen here uh, uh, for the particular order number one two six. So let's hop onto the admin back end. Uh, let's hop onto the uh, mobile end now. So uh, here within the mobile device as well, you can see that at 6.35 p.m. it says that the uh, Hi Peter, your order has been placed with the order ID 126, the same that we saw on the uh, web store there. Please check your mail for more details at the email address of the customer. Now that's how uh, the uh, order place notification reaches the customer. Now let's see if the admin alters the uh, order, uh, the placed order status and in that case how the uh, SMS notifications would be sent to the customer so uh, for that uh, let me uh, go ahead and let me uh, mark those things from the admin backend panel first so here you can see the uh, very first one was the order place for order ID 126 then on the second one uh, we, you can see that it's in the processing state with the order ID 126 then uh, we had uh, the order is on hold with the order number 126 then you can see that the order has been completed with order id 126 and uh, you can also see here uh, the cancellation is there peter your order is cancelled with the order id 126 second last one and lastly you can see that uh, your order has been refunded with the order id 126 so that's how uh, the customer will receive uh, instant uh, SMS notifications for the uh, respective uh, status change of the orders there from the admin backend panel. Now, uh, this uh, SMS notification also uh, works with the vendors. So if the vendors are basically um, applying uh, for, for a, example, a customer is applying for a vendorship, then uh, a SMS notification would be sent at the time of approval uh, for that particular vendor. And if he updates his uh, account there, then uh, also he'll be receiving the uh, uh, SMS notification. Now let's hop onto the admin backend panel once again.
Now here you can see that I'm uh, checking the vendor's uh, uh, message here and it says that uh, your profile is updated along with the user login that's John Doe so if any changes are made it uh, made uh, to the uh, seller's profile or it's updated at that time the uh, vendor receives this particular uh, a text message that your profile is updated and similarly here you can see that if any products are being updated then you receive this particular message here that says hi Peter Doe your product v-neck t-shirt is updated the same goes for the uh, the other one as well I Peter uh, do your product V neck t-shirt uh, of the color red is updated there so that was uh, the uh, windows end uh, whenever they make the changes in their profile uh, SMS notification is sent to them and uh, whenever they edit uh, a product on the own account panel at that time as well they receive an SMS notification on their mobile device so this number should be added within the windows account panel as well so I just forgot to show you the order place notification so here you can see the order has been placed successfully with the product name there ship your billu with order I did this and uh, for the processing state as well here you can see that order is in processing state uh, and the product name is ship your billu with order ID uh, is 126 so that's how the customers will receive this particular uh, SMS notification on their mobile devices now let's hop on to the uh, windows uh, panel and let's see the other options there and uh, similarly for the order events such as uh, the out of stock low stock or the cancellation order on hold etc the customers as well as the marketplace vendors would receive the sms notification text for the respective order events uh, that are being done uh, itself within the marketplace store uh, so uh, that was uh, basically much about the plugin itself and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, you can reach back to us at support either to webcool.com, raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com, or reach us through www.webcool.com forward slash contacts. And uh, now let me take you to the admin backend panel where we'll be checking how we can configure this particular plugin in the first place. So uh, let's go to the admin backend panel now and lastly we're here on the uh, account panel or the backend panel of the marketplace store so I logged into my admin backend panel and uh, after the successful installation of this particular plugin that's the marketplace to value uh, sms notification the admin can see the marketplace video option on the side panel tapping that up brings up the uh, section where you'll be able to configure the, the settings for the same so if you're having an account at uh, twilio you can make use of the sid token and the phone number that you've created itself Right now I've created a trial account and I have some amount in that so I've uh, uh, created my profile over the Twilio and then uh, I have got the SID and token and I have to generate the phone number with the country code itself and uh, lastly after entering these details you just need to tap here on the save changes button and we're done configuring the plugin and from now the customers can receive and the vendors can also receive the different order updates on the mobile devices using this particular plugin that's the woocommerce multi vendor marketplace twilio twilio sms notification plugin and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead and if you still have any questions just check the user guide and the rest of the links that i've attached within the de uh, description of this particular video and uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead